Oh no, it's Tom Moss. <laughs> but who's he going to fool today? <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas was helping two fuddlings sell ice cream. Ice cream, get your ice cream here. Loads of flavours. But they had to stop at a signal. And Tom Moss switched the trucks. But they didn't notice. Ice cream! <laughs> they bumped into James. Hi James, would you like an ice cream? Oh yes, please. May I have a nice red strawberry ice cream, please? No problem. They went into their ice cream truck and gave James what they thought was strawberry ice cream. Oh, looks delicious. Nom, nom, nom. Ah! That does not taste good at all. What? Really? Why? It tastes like an old bucket. An old bucket? How? Tom Moss knew why. Tom had put his own ice cream in that truck, and he had turned a red bucket into the red ice cream. So they thought it was strawberry, but it wasn't. I'm sorry, but I can't eat this. Don't worry, James. Sorry about the taste. But that wasn't the only ice cream that Tom had made. <laughs> Thomas and the Funlings ran into Percy. Hi Percy, would you like some ice cream? Oh yes please, may I have a nice yellow lemon ice cream please? Yep, no problem. And they gave him what they thought was lemon ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> That does not taste good at all. What? Oh no. It tastes like a car. Tom knew why. He had found a yellow car and used parts of it to make a yellow ice cream. But they didn't know that. I'm sorry, but I can't eat this. Don't worry, Percy. Sorry about the taste. But Tom Moss wasn't done. Thomas and the Funlings ran into Hulk. Hi Hulk, would you like some ice cream? Yes please, may I have orange flavoured orange ice cream please? Yep, yeah, no problem. And they gave Hulk what they thought was orange flavoured ice cream. Thank you. Um, 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 um. That does not taste good at all. It tastes like a tree. A tree? How? Tom Moss knew. He had found an orange tree and used it to make the ice cream. <laughs> oh, why do our ice creams taste so strange? Guys, I think someone's playing a game with us. Oh no! By who? I don't know, but I know how we can get them back. And Thomas told the Funlings his plan. Later... Ice cream! Get your ice cream here! Tom was hungry after fooling Thomas and the Funlings and was in the mood for some ice cream. So he followed Percy. Ice cream! Get your ice cream here! Percy dropped an ice cream. Tom found it and he thought that it was a chocolate ice cream. But when he tried it, it tasted like mud. Aha! Got you, Tom! You switched our ice cream! So how do you like your mud ice cream? <laughs> Tom Moss 
Tom was embarrassed, so he ran away. Get him! But Tom, being Tom, got away. Where's he gone? Tom? Tom? Oh, we lost him. Sorry guys, but now that he's gone, why don't we re-deliver some proper ice cream? Yeah, okay, let's do it. So they gave James strawberry ice cream, Percy lemon ice cream, and Hulk orange ice cream. And as for Tom Moss, well, he ran back to his tunnel to think up of his next plan. Uh oh! It's Tom Moss. Ooh, but Percy's seen him. Perhaps we can catch Tom out today. So Percy followed him. Meanwhile, nearby, Thomas was giving out free ice cream. Ice cream! Get your ice cream here. Ice cream! He soon had to stop at a signal. And that's when Tom switched the trucks. <laughs> and Thomas hadn't noticed. But luckily, someone had. Percy! He needed to warn Thomas. Hmm, that sounds like Percy. Thomas, don't give anyone ice cream from that truck. Why not? Because Tom Moss switched the trucks. Who knows what strange flavours he's put in that one. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll go and get some fresh ice cream then. No. Maybe we can switch the trucks back and give Tom a taste of his own medicine. That's a good idea. Ooh, this will be fun. So they came up with a plan. Nearby, Tom was waiting for Thomas. But he didn't realise that Thomas was behind him, switching the trucks back. Tom hadn't noticed. Yes, now to have some fun. Ice cream, free ice cream. <laughs> he soon ran into a funling. Oh, hi funling, would you like some free ice cream? Yes, please. Yellow lemon ice cream, please. Coming up! But because Tom hadn't realised that the trucks had been switched back, he thought that Thomas was giving the Funling his yellow paint ice cream. But... Your ice cream is ready! Ta-da! Ooh! Mmm! That was delicious! Thanks, Thomas! No problem, Funling. Tom couldn't understand why the Funling liked the ice cream. It should have tasted like paint. Thomas then ran into Hulk. Hi Hulk, would you like some free ice cream? Yes, red strawberry flavour please. Tom thought that Thomas was giving Hulk his red sombrero ice cream. But... Your ice cream is ready. Ta-da! Ooh! Mmm! Delicious! Thanks, Thomas. Tom couldn't understand why Hulk liked that ice cream. It should have tasted like a sombrero. Finally, Thomas ran into Percy. 
Percy, would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. Brown chocolate ice cream, please. Tom thought that Thomas was giving Percy his brown mud and wood ice cream. But your ice cream is ready. Tala! Oh, yum! Mm, nom, 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 mm, delicious! Tom couldn't understand why Percy liked that ice cream. It should have tasted like mud and wood. Tom gave up. He now wanted to taste the ice cream. So he got an ice cream out of his truck. But... He had eaten his mud ice cream. Haha, <laughs> got you Tom. We switched the trucks back, so we were giving everyone lovely ice cream, and you just ate your own strange ice cream. Tom was so embarrassed, he ran away as quickly as he could. Back to his tunnel. Haha, <laughs> we got him. Your plan worked, Percy. He won't mess with us for a while. So Tom was sulking in his tunnel. Until next time. Everyone on the island of Sodor was excited. They were building a new elephant park. Vehicles of all sizes were working very hard. But the most excited and hard-working train was Thomas. The day before the grand opening, Sir Topham Hatt had called a meeting. Thomas had finished all of his jobs early. Ah, good, you're all here. Now, as you all know, the new elephant park is nearly finished and the grand opening is tomorrow. I need an engine to take the last but most important piece, the elephant statue. I'll do it, sir. I've already finished all of my jobs today. Excellent, Thomas. But you must be careful. It's fragile. It's expensive. It's... It's... Gone. Where has my statue gone? Tom Moss took it, sir. But don't worry. I'll get it back. Hurry, Thomas. But be careful. Hurry up and finish your work, Gator. Thomas, don't be so impatient. You'll cause an accident. <laughs> Aha! I've trapped you now, Thomas. You have nowhere to go. I'll take that. Now I need to hurry to the elephant park as fast as I can. I can't wait for it to be finished. Don't rush, Thomas. Your car's an accident. No, I won't. I'll be fine. Thomas was racing around Sodor to get to the new park as fast as he could. Whoa, watch out, Thomas, you'll cause an accident. <laughs> oh no, what has Tom Moss found? He's found a jet engine. <laughs> Don't turn it on, Tom Moss. Tom Moss turned it on. As Thomas was steaming towards the park, the jet engine was catching him up.
when suddenly it hit Thomas. Thomas couldn't slow down. Oh dear, I knew Thomas would cause an accident. When Thomas reached the new elephant park, the elephant statue launched into the air and crashed into the lake. Oh no, what have I done? The statue's stuck in the lake. Now the park's definitely not going to be finished on time. Later that afternoon, Sir Topham Hatt was very angry with Tom Moss. Every engine on the island has worked very hard to finish building the elephant park and you have ruined it. I'm going to have to cancel the grand opening and it's all your fault. For once, Tom Moss felt terrible. The next day, Thomas could hear a lot of noise coming from the new elephant park, so he went to check it out. Thomas couldn't believe his eyes. I now declare the new elephant park officially open. But I thought the opening was cancelled. <laughs> it was, Thomas. But it turns out everyone loves the elephant in the lake, even if it was a mistake. Now, who's going to help me get off this rock? <laughs> Den Dart, I crashed. I really need fixing. Oh dear, look at you. Good job I've got my diesel works trucks with me. What he means is, we've got all the diesel work equipment here with us, so you don't have to go to the diesel works. But please go quickly. Okay, Diesel 10, we'll go as fast as we can. Wait a minute, they've disappeared. What he means is, those trucks that were next to us, have gone! <laughs> oh no, Tom Moss and the Joker have stolen them! Quick, Dart, go and chase them! I'm on it, Den! Ah, Duck! I need you to deliver five trucks of coal to the Paw Patrol, who are waiting at the clock tower. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> Come back! Oh well, better get going, duck. The trucks may be quite heavy. Meanwhile, Gordon was filling up with coal. Gordon, that's your third lot of coal today. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> and that's why diesels are better than steamies. Diesel engines don't rely on anything. Nothing of ours can be stolen. Um, okay, not many things can be stolen. Suddenly, Duck showed up. Gordon, you've had a lot of coal today. Well, Duck, important engines like myself need a lot of coal to be really useful. Not that you'll know about being useful. Hmm. <laughs> Duck was annoyed. What I need are more tenders. Suddenly, Duck had a naughty idea. Well, Gordon, it just so happens I have five tenders which I never use. Well, are they big and grand? Of course they are. If you go to the turntable, my driver will connect them to you. Aha! I'll be the biggest and grandest engine on Sodor. I'll only be given important jobs. No more dirty trucks for me ever again. You don't have five tenders, Duck. I know, 
but I do have five dirty trucks of coal. <laughs> that should teach Gordon a lesson. Soon, Gordon was steaming round the island with his new, um, tenders. Out of my way! Important engine coming through! Did you see that, Ben? Gordon's not pulling the express. He's pulling dirty trucks. <laughs> Out of my way, dirty diesels! Well, look at that, Bert. Gordon's now pulling trucks just like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, hello, Chase and Rubble. Have you noticed my new tenders? Now I'm the grandest engine on Sodor. I don't see any tenders, Gordon. All I see are five dirty coal trucks. Wait, what? Ha <laughs> ha Ah, Gordon. Thank you so much for bringing my coal trucks here for me while I did some important jobs. I didn't think you'd show off the dirty trucks to everyone, though. No? Oh, the indignity! <laughs> Come back with the diesel work trucks! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Oh, thank you, Gordon, for stopping Tom Moss. You've saved the day. Ha <laughs> ha Hear that, duck? Even while doing your dirty job, I still managed to save the day. I truly am the grandest engine on Sodor. Hey, Funlings. You look like you're in a good mood today. We're giving everyone on the island free ice cream! Yay! Let's go, Thomas! Free ice cream to everyone! <laughs> However, Tom Moss was at the first signal Thomas had to wait at. <laughs> He's changing the ice cream truck to... a sticky tar truck! Ice cream? This is Tom! That wasn't very nice, Funlings. Those Funlings can be mean. Hello! Free ice cream for everyone! Here you go! Enjoy! Huh? Oh, this isn't ice cream. Ugh. Do the Funlings even know what ice cream is? Hello! Free ice cream for everyone! Here you go! Enjoy! Huh? Oh, I really, really wanted that ice cream. Of 
love ice cream. Everyone on the island's going to love us. Uh, Funlings, that's not ice cream. That's tar. Moss was still at the signal. <laughs> and changed the new ice cream truck to a truck full of molten lava. <laughs> That's not ice cream again. That's lava. That's dangerous. Oh no! What have we done? All we wanted to do was to give out free ice cream. Oh, Funlings, it's not your fault. This sounds like a Tom Moss game. How about I ask Belle to clean up the mess? Then we can invite everyone here to eat the free ice cream. Yeah, that's a good idea. And soon, Belle put out all the fires and washed away the tar. Luckily, no one was hurt. The Funlings explained to everyone what had happened, and everyone finally enjoyed their free ice cream. One day, Thomas was talking to the Funlings about Santa, again. Tell us about Santa again. Again? Oh, very well. He gives all good children presents at Christmas. And what does he give the naughty children? Coal! <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good Funlings. And have you been good? Um, we think so. <laughs> but someone who had definitely been naughty was nearby, listening to Thomas. Tom Moss. He was now really worried. He was going to get coal for Christmas and not presents. He decided that he was going to do something that he's never done before. And be nice. But he'd done a lot of naughty things that year so it'd have to be very nice today. First of all, he knew that James had to deliver a lot of cargo to Chatsworth Station. So Tom thought that he'd give James a helping hand. <laughs> Later, when James arrived to take the cargoes, he had a bit of a shock. Oh no! Where's all my cargo gone? 
he couldn't understand where they had gone. <laughs> In the end, James decided to go to the station to tell them that he'd lost their cargo. But... What? The cargo's already here? Oh, thank you, whoever did this. <laughs> Tom knew that he'd have to do a lot more nice things to get any presents, though. Nearby, Marshall and Chase were out enjoying the snow. But they were freezing. Oh, I knew we should have worn our snow gear. Yes, we really need to go somewhere warm. I'm freezing here. But there were no buildings anywhere near them. Uh, okay, we need some wood to start a fire. But again, there was nothing near them. Until... Huh? Oh, firewood! Where did that come from? But they didn't look quick enough to see who had given it to them. So they started a small fire. And soon, both Marshall and Chase were very warm. But Tom still knew that he had to do something else nice. But not too far away, McQueen was enjoying racing in the snow. But... Oh no! I've run out of fuel! Help! Help! But no one could hear him. Oh no! I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere! But luckily... Huh? Oh! Fuel! Where did that come from? So McQueen quickly fueled up and when he looked to see who had brought him the fuel, no one was there. Oh well, thanks whoever did that. Tom was now confident that he'd get presents now. But then he heard... Ho ho ho! Tom couldn't believe it. It was Santa. Hello Tom, I see you've been very useful today. Tom was speechless. But Tom, to be on the nice list, you can't be helpful for only a day, or even a week. It's about being nice all year round. But I see that you really made an effort today, and if you promise me that you'll be nice, you can have some presents. Tom agreed, so Santa gave him some gifts. Now, don't forget to be nice, Tom. So Tom had agreed to be nice. But do you think that he'll be able to stay nice? I guess we'll find out soon. <laughs> Thomas had a very important job to do. He was delivering some new animals to the zoo. He was delivering a giraffe, some cheeky monkeys, a red bird, an orange bird, and a green bird, and a gorilla. He was very proud. But someone else had their eye on the animals. Tom Moss. <laughs> On his journey, Thomas had to stop at a signal. <laughs> oh, oh look! Thomas has animals. Wow, a giraffe. Whoa! Careful guys, don't startle the animals. Oh, oh, birds! Colourful, ooh! 
Unfortunately, Thomas was so busy making sure that the minions didn't startle the animals, he didn't notice Tom Moss tamper with his brakes. The signal finally changed, and off he went. Aww. But he couldn't stop. Oh no! I can't stop! Help! Help! <laughs> and he was heading towards James, who was waiting at another signal. I can't stop! Oh dear. Luckily, the giraffe, birds and gorilla were alright, and stayed in their trucks. But two monkeys ran away. Watch out, Thomas! Sorry James, my brakes didn't work. Brakes! Get your brakes fixed! We know what we're doing! Kind of. Oh, Thomas! Hello again! Minions, please could you fix my brakes? Oh, certainly! There, good as new. Oh, and minions, I may need your help. Two monkeys have escaped. Please could you help me find them? <gasps> yeah, come on! And they searched for a monkey. Meanwhile, the signal changed so James could continue with his journey, freeing Thomas so he could also look for a monkey. But he left the other animals behind. And someone found them. <laughs> Tom Moss had the animals. <laughs> oh, oh, look, a monkey. We found one. Monkey, monkey. Eating candy. Telling lies. Then open wide. Ooh. <laughs> he threw candy at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One monkey down, and Thomas soon found the other. It was hiding in a tree. <laughs> but when they returned to where they left the animals. Oh no! The animals are gone. Where are they? Uh-oh! Over there! They saw Tom Moss with the animals, but he was too far away to chase. Oh no! What are we going to do? Turns out, they didn't actually have to do anything. Because... Something was throwing bananas at Tom. It was the gorilla. Tom had upset the gorilla. He was scared, so he ran away, leaving the animals behind. Hooray! So Thomas took everyone over to the animals. The monkeys climbed back into their truck. And as a thank you, Thomas let the minions keep the truck full of candy and all of the bananas that the gorilla had thrown at Tom. So Thomas could peacefully take the animals to the zoo. It was Christmas, so Thomas decided to surprise his friends with some candy. He ran into two funlings. Merry Christmas, guys! Merry Christmas, Thomas! I've got some candy for everyone. <gasps> really? Oh, thanks! Huh. Huh. Uh, oh, <laughs> I picked a green and a purple, and you picked a green and a purple. 
because we are green and purple. <laughs> I'm pleased you like it. Right, I need to give more candy away. Bye. Bye, Thomas. But unfortunately, someone wanted to prank Thomas. Uh oh. It was Tom Moss. <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas was trying to find his friends. But he passed through a mysterious snowy tunnel. He went in with candy. And came out with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and he didn't realise. <laughs> so Thomas found Percy to give him some candy. Merry Christmas, Percy. Merry Christmas, Thomas. I have a surprise for you. Ta-da! Um, thank you? Shall I take one? One? No, take a few. Um, I'm actually not very hungry right now, thanks. Oh, uh, okay then. Um, bye. And off he went. Why didn't Percy want any of my candy? He then found Gordon. Merry Christmas, Gordon. Merry Christmas, Thomas. I have something for you. Ha <laughs> very funny, Thomas. Very festive indeed. And off he steamed. What's going on? Nobody wants my candy. Luckily, Thomas ran into Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Yeah, Merry Christmas. What's wrong, Thomas? Nobody wants any of this candy, and I don't know why. The Funlings liked it. Well, Thomas, it could be because it's not candy anymore. Those trucks are full of Brussels sprouts. What? How did that happen? And then they heard... <laughs> it was Tom Moss. <laughs> oh, I should have known. And he's getting away. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll deal with this. And he changed the sprouts back into candy. Oh, thank you. That's not all. <laughs> Some sprouts had fallen from the sky, right in front of Tom Moss. Sprouts were everywhere. Tom couldn't get away from them. even when he went back into his tunnel. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. No problem, Thomas. So Thomas could actually deliver his candy now, and all of his friends loved it. And Tom will be dreaming of Brussels sprouts for weeks. Thomas had a very special job to do. Sir Topham Hatt had asked for him specifically. Ah, Thomas, I'm sure you've heard that Zuma here has found some valuable treasure. I'll need you to deliver it to the museum. Thomas was thrilled, so he loaded it onto his truck 
and off he went. But he had to be careful because <laughs> Tom Moss had his eye on the treasure. <laughs> and he'd stop at nothing to get it. <laughs> hmm, what's he going to do with that cargo? Thomas zoomed around the corner, only to see a huge pile of cargo on the track. But Thomas didn't slow down. He charged straight through it. Thomas was getting away. Tom needed a bigger plan. Trucks blocked the track. How will Thomas get past? He went around the trucks. Tom needed an even bigger plan. Oh no, Tom's got a boulder. Watch out, Thomas. The boulder is heading straight for you. You. Tom just couldn't stop Thomas, but he wasn't giving up yet. He's electrocuting the track. Watch out, Thomas! <laughs> but instead of stopping Thomas, the electricity made him lightning quick. <laughs> and Thomas was heading straight for Tom Moss. Thomas was now chasing Tom. Tom ran back to his tunnel. Thomas would have chased him further, but he had the valuable treasure on him and didn't want to risk losing it. So he took it to the museum. Tom had been defeated. <laughs>